See you, buddy. This must be us. <laughs> Pirate ship with black sails. Coffee? Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, how are you? We're in somewhere in Sinai. <laughs> Doing some diving. That's right. Let's check it out. Here's the captain, everybody. <laughs> there you go. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's up everybody, this is Lennon and I'm with my new friend Bob K. Sinai. We are on a boat and we're about to take an epic excursion. Bob, can you tell us a little bit about what's going to happen today? Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bob. I'm the founder of uh, the Gate Travel Network. And right now we are on the soft opening for our new boating services in Sharm el Sheikh. Look around us, this is like the jetty. That's where we're going to be taking off every day for diving, high, uh, sorry, diving, free diving, snorkeling, and beginner diving programs. Anytime you would like to explore the beauty of Sinai, please shoot us a message on tgtn.club and we're going to be more than happy to assist with everything you need around the region. Great. See you on the boat. Light refreshments were served upon departure. And the chef began preparing our meal. You wouldn't know it by looking at these pretzels, but these are special pretzels. They have a masala chai type mixed spice flavor going on with them. And they're really nice. <laughs> I hope we see some sharks today. Great. This is the shark, yes. When I give you this sign, it means you put your fingers on your throat and keep going. 20 minutes later. All you need to do down there is to walk, equalize, breathe, and enjoy. <laughs> First of all, you need to think water, so what? Confident. Yes, sir. I'm feeling more confident now. Yeah. Uh, Very good. Here's some poetry by one of my favorite artists, India Ari. I jumped in the water. For the first time, I understood its power. As I swam, I was cleansed. If I had any doubts, this experience cleared them out. Now I know for sure that God is real. I know that it's the truth by the way it feels. Cause I saw starfish and sponges, fishes shaped like trumpets, so many different colors. I stayed out there for hours and I only saw a fraction of a fraction of the deepest of the deep of the great blue wide. It brought a tear to my eye. That's how I know that God is real. <laughs> Just completed my first snorkel experience. I have to say it was really amazing. I knew it was going to be really awesome, but once underwater, I was really amazed, blown away by that diversity of fish and the coral reefs and all the things growing on top of the coral reefs. It was very colorful 
and peaceful. At several times, I would just rest with my head under the water, do a little bit of open eye meditation, and absorb all the rich life around me. And I also did quite a bit of swimming, more swimming than I've honestly done in years. So that was really good exercise as well. I'm looking forward to that chicken that is being barbecued at the moment. Action. Tell me again the name of the place where we just go. This is uh, called the uh, North uh, Cold Rain. This island over there, this is called the, the island of Tehran, and it's like between Saudi Arabia and Egypt, right? On the other side, if you look, this is Sharm el Sheikh, right? And this area in between the island and Sharm, this is called the Straits of Tehran. This is where most of the diving is. You have Jackson Reef, Thomas Reef, Woodhouse, and where we're going right now, it's called Gordon. It has a shipwreck on the top. You will love this place. So, welcome to the Straits of Tehran. Life is good. <laughs> Future scuba diver. Hey. Juju. <laughs> Very nice. We have arrived at the shipwreck site. Take a look at this. Pretty epic. A couple different wrecks here right on the same reef. I'm not sure what this one is in the foreground. And there's the large ship in the background. Let me just give you a panoramic of this area too. This is super cool. Awesome skyline, other ships, and the wreck all in one area. Nice. Lots of splash. Here at the second location, they had called for the snorkelers. And then everybody was just kind of standing around, not doing much. So I went and I got my camera and I just started taking some shots. The scuba divers were jumping in. I ended up filming for several minutes. Before I knew it, the boat was moving. I had missed my opportunity to jump in. I felt a little disgruntled about this, honestly, but Mustafa, the captain, recognized the situation, what had happened, and that I had been left behind and it did not make the drop off with the other snorkelers. So he actually, once we were in a good place again, he took me privately and just the two of us swam. It was a shorter dive than the first one. This one maybe only lasted 10 or 15 minutes and it was definitely a lot more challenging. We were in much choppier waters. So I feel as if I went from very beginner level to intermediate level really quick in a matter of two dives here. They're getting ready for the meal set up. I'm nice and hungry after two decent swims. All right guys, check out my colorful spread here. I've got two different types of salad. This one I'm very custom, custom with. This one was, went fast, so I just got a bite of it. Some mixed veggie, looks like a curry over rice here. Kofta or some sort of sausage, chicken, pasta, bread, and I'm not positive what this one is, but I will try and tell you. Start with the sausage thing here. Let's go. This one is beef.
sort of cabin still in here. I'm not really sure. Ooh. Mm. I know why that one would drink. Oh my god, that's good. Mango dressing, maybe. Yeah, mango. Overall, see, this is not a bad meal. Pretty, pretty damn good. I'm really hungry. And this is going to satisfy me. Thank you.